Good afternoon, everybody. Today is Martin Luther King Jr. Day, so Monday, and I had a dermatologist appointment this morning, and I just ran to Target really fast and did a pickup order, so I'll show you what I got there. And my huge Thrive order came today, so I'm going to show you what I got for Thrive this month. And I think I might clean the refrigerator. It's pretty gross after the holidays. I'm not gonna lie, there's like shriveled up produce in the back. It's it's gross. So I think I need to pull everything out and clean it. I think that is my goal for today. But I've been kind of, I haven't vlogged in the last few days because Paul started crawling Wednesday, Thursday last week and literally took off. And as soon as he started crawling, he had sleep issues at night. Literally Thursday night, well actually it wasn't Thursday night, early, early Friday at 2 a.m. He woke up wide awake. I was with him until about 6 a.m. He finally took a nap. And then I was just a zombie the rest of the day. Saturday morning, he woke up at 4 a.m. for like an hour or two. He's been waking up at four or five every morning. Hopefully that ends soon. He's just all over the place now and it's amazing how fast he can go. So we're kind of baby proofing things. I also wanted to go to Target to get some baby gates, but they only had one in stock and we wanted to get two. So I ordered some, they should be here soon. But yes, it's all a new sort of crazy going on here. So anyway, let me flip you around and show you what I got at Target and Thrive and put the stuff all away. Okay, so here's everything I got from Target. Not in any particular order, it was kind of just random stuff. I got two things of Kerrygold salted butter. This is the one we leave out on our counter and just eat. I got two things of Tillamook cheese, cheddar, and Colby Jack for snacking. I got some horseradish, because we ran out. Some cream cheese for Little Paul's smash cake that I'm gonna be making this weekend, which is insane, but I needed a cream cheese for that. Just some crescent rolls because we've been eating these lately. Some squeezed sour cream, some baking soda for laundry. I got, Matt really likes cheese it so I got two more of these family size, and I got Annie's was on sale at Target. I wanna see if Matt likes these. I feel like I had these a couple years ago and they just did not taste the same as cheese its but, so I got those. I got some Crisco, butter flavored sticks just for baking to have that last forever. I got these Lindor dark truffles because I had seen on Instagram where people were kind of getting in the chocolate, hot chocolate bomb craze, but people were taking these, putting it in the bottom of a coffee mug and pouring hot coffee on it and it just sounded delicious. So I got that, me and Matt are gonna try that at some point. Some bananas for Mr. Paul. I got some lemons for a cake I'm making for my girlfriend's son. She wanted lemon buttercream filling. I just got a mess of them in case one looked funky. And then I got some frozen fruit. So mango strawberry blend and basically mixed berries. This is for smoothies for me and Paul. So that's everything I got at Target.
guys, here is everything in my massive Thrive Market haul. So if you are new, I get Thrive once a month and I usually don't get this much stuff, but we are running out of some things and they had a lot of really cool new things. So let me show you everything I got. So kind of just starting here in the back, I got some paper towels and then I got the bamboo toilet paper, which we've been using and having absolutely no problem with and love. So I got some more of that just to stock up. Then back here, I've been making tons of oat stuff for Paul. So I got some rolled oats. I also got some of this sprouted white wheat flour because I make Paul's bread. So I thought that would be cool to try. Then I just got to kind of restock some powdered sugar, some cane sugar, some maple syrup. This was on sale. And then this is just the Thrive kind that I usually always get. Then I also got some masa harina because I unearthed my tortilla press and I wanted to make some fresh tortillas at some point. And then I got some dried figs. These are black mission figs and some pecans, some walnuts. I got these just for me for snacking because I get dark chocolate cravings. And these are dark chocolate sweetened with cocoa sh coconut sugar. I also got some of these chocolate puddings just to make some dessert. I got some of the whole cranberries that Matt loves for salads. So these just come in my, the Thrive equivalent of like subscribe and save is what these come. So I always get two. And these are for Matt's lunches as well. These mini packs of olives. This one's the Zesty Italian. And then here's just the original green olives. Then back here, I got some cheddar bunnies for snacking. And we tried this for the first time last time and actually really liked it. So I guess it's called Bonanza, Banza. It's made from chickpeas and it's actually pretty good. So I got alphabets and rotini. I also got some more brown rice cause I was shockingly out of that. I got some albacore tuna. Some more jelly. This one is the super fruit blend. So then I got a ton of like sauces and condiments. So starting over here, I got some Thrive rice vinegar for stir fries and whatnot. Thrive has a bunch of new sauces now. So I'm trying their barbecue sauce I've never had. The buffalo wild or buffalo wing sauce. This one's medium. And they also had sriracha in red and green. I got both, but the red was out of stock. So they only shipped me the green. I also got Matt some French, oh, I'm sorry. This is a thousand island dressing because we were running low on salad dressings. I always get this avocado spray. It's a good one and it has none of the silicone like Pam does. So I got another one of those just for the pantry. We are running low on yellow mustard. So I got another one of those and I got, so I've tried curry paste before, but never curry powder. So what I do is I usually get a new spice in the jar itself. And then when it runs out, I get these packs from Thrive and refill it. So this oregano, I already have a jar in the pantry, so I'll refill it with this at some point. Then I just got Matt some coconut mayo. It's in this weird little squeeze thing. I also got whole bean coffee because Matt got a manual coffee bean grinder for Christmas. So I told him I would get him some coffee beans. I got another brine bag because I still have three turkeys in my freezer. I only have half a jar of the Thanksgiving brine from Costco. So I'm just going to brine one more turkey. The other two, I'm not going to bother brining them. What else do I have snack wise? I got some more pretzels. These are whole green. And this was new, the Essential Baking Company. I've tried their bread before and it was delicious. And this is a two pack of pizza crust. So I thought this was cool to try. That's a quick dinner. And then just some non-grocery items. I always get the dishwasher packs. This I'm trying for the first time. I'm in the market for a new face lotion. And this is like a massive container of face cream, Everyday Coconut by I think this is the same company that makes um, Paul's bubble bath. So I thought I'd give this a try. I think this was like $7 and it's like a ton of lotion. And then I've tried this brand before, I think with like FabFitFun, this Acure, seriously soothing cloud, had a lot of reviews online. I've just been getting, you know, typical dry skin on my face because of the winter. And then it's kind of solid now because it was so cold in the garage, but I got some jojoba oil just to put on my arms and legs when I get out of the shower. So those are my personal products there. So that's everything from Thrive this month. Now I get to put it away. Mm -hmm.